Welcome to Smash Writing. Paul, Justin, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. This is an idiot. You're just talking about that. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, today... I'm editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Makes it entertaining. It's going to be beeped. <laughs> <laughs> um, today... In, wow, we got like a thing going on for the next couple weeks here. Um, this week and next week we're doing Edgar Allan Poe theme. Ooh. Why did you go to Edgar Allan Poe? Is it because you looked at your room and saw your book on the bookshelf and what we should talk about Edgar? Yeah, I like Edgar Allan Poe. I like hmm. his, his stories. That's, He's I, fine. That's. Did you never notice that? No, I've noticed it. Okay. Uh, no, um... It's sitting next to the bookshelf for a year, probably getting out of your book. <laughs> <laughs> My random books are, like, so pieced together, so perfect. <laughs> Just wraps up my personalities in one. Uh, but today we are reviewing... Like 15 Reacher books and all of the Odd Thomas books. I forgot to message you and tell you they wrapped up filming, so it should be... Very soon. It's very soon. <laughs> anyway, we are reviewing the 2012 film The Raven. Um... Break it down. Break it down. I didn't take a whole lot of notes on this breakdown, but okay. It wasn't many notes to really take. But, uh... We open up to see Poe just kind of, like, bonked out on the bench. And then we jump to a nighttime shot of a woman screaming for help. By the time the cops arrive, it's too late. They find some bodies, and there's a body in the chimney. And we meet Poe. He's dissecting a dead animal and a dead cat on the road. He's getting drunk, and he's trying to go to the bar to get more drunk. But the bartender's not having any of him. He owes money. He <laughs> started a fight the last time he was there. I and know uh, happens. Even the money he gives him isn't enough to cover it off the tab. So he tries to make like this ploy of, uh, if anyone can recognize him, or recite his poems, and he gets a drink for free, but the bartender is like, no. <laughs> and he's still yelling and screaming, causes a fight, and gets thrown out. And we uh, see another one. Um, we see the detectives trying to solve the murder that we'd seen at the beginning. And they can't quite figure out how he, the killer could get out. The room was locked and the windows were nailed shut. But they find one of the nails with a booby trap that springs up. And that's how the killer got out. And it sparks a memory in the detective's head that he'd read this before. So while they go out to investigate that, we see another guy about the pit and pendulum death style murder going on there. And that's torture. Yeah. But uh, meanwhile the cops bring in Poe to question him because like this the first death is based off of his story and Poe is being argumentative with them until someone comes in and they take the detective up to see this new death and it's a uh, they find a red mask and they uh the hint of what's going to happen at the ball at this guy's throwing the next day or that night or something like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, we see uh, as a love interest, Emily, and our dad does not like Poe at all. He's going to shoot him on sight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, those two are pretty much going to be engaged, and they're going to announce their engagement at the ball, which gets interrupted by a guy on horseback, and Emily gets kidnapped. And the murder leaves behind the clue that... Um, Poe has to write about all of the murders he's going to like, find in the book. And he gets to write how Emily is saved. So you're going, they're trying to solve all of this. They keep coming up, with, they keep finding bodies of murders that are centralized around Poe's stories. And so finally Poe writes that he will give his life for Emily, and that's how Emily survives. But he gets to know, um, congratulating him on his story before the paper is delivered, which he suspects is the head of the newspaper, but it's actually the assistant who gives Poe the poison to drink. Poe drinks the poison. The assistant leaves to Paris to go attack Jules Verne, and Poe manages to suss out that it's a um, telltale death situation he's in, and she's buried under the floorboards. He manages to save her, but succumbs to the poison. But in his rants, he tells Fields, the detective, that it was Reynolds who did it, and Reynolds intercepts. Well, no, he tells he tells a passerby that. Well, and, I, and the doctor at the hospital, because he was still ranting by the time he got into the hospital. Yeah, and he just his only choice says, "Tell Fields his name's Reynolds." 
and he manages to track Reynolds down to Paris and intercepts him at Paris. <laughs> just instantly. Instantly shoots him on sight. <laughs> and that's how the movie ends. Yeah. Okay. Um, one. See, I don't know when to bring up this question. What's the question? This movie or the next movie, or should I just, should we just do both? Do both. Why do they keep writing Poe like this? Poe was cre is credited for the detective story. Yeah. He is not a detective. I, you know what? I honestly don't know. That is a good question. Like I tried to Google it, but I just got the fact that he was the father of the detective story. That's it. Yeah, he he is renowned for detective stories and and, and really kind of starting the thriller yeah. type of stuff like that. As to why they always want uh, Edgar Allan Poe to be a detective, I really don't know. Um, you know, it's crazy. He's one of the most famous writers, and there is so many things now surrounding the mystery of his life. Contradiction. Yeah. His, his life is a contradiction. Yeah. I, I think the question people... Was, was he a drunk or not a drunk? Some say he was allergic to alcohol, and that's why he always had wild fits when he did drink. Yeah, but as for why they make like the person Edgar Allan Poe always a detective like manner, I, I really don't know. I mean I get it like there and, and we were talking about this off camera, is that the films are pretty accurate on like smallest little details about Edgar Allan Poe. Um no, he was never a detective. He never and nobody's saying that this film, The Raven, is a you know you know, movie based off of NBA. real events, yeah. real, real, real life events for Edgar Allan Poe. No, literally the only thing that they probably that was more accurate is cause of death. Always unknown. Unknown. Yeah, that's about uh, it. But they did get some details right. He did sell the Raven for nine dollars. Yes. Uh, he was poor. He was. Uh, they don't know how he died, but this is like a fictional theory on what could have caused his death. Yeah. Um, now when you break it down into like the detective part, and like I said, don't know why they make him always make him a detective. Maybe they want to point out something even from his cadet history and all that, but whatever. Well, he could, sure, he could find details. He wrote it in a book, but writing and real life are two different things. And actually the character that hates Edgar Allan Poe in The Raven makes it clear when Luke Evans' character is the field is like wanting to almost blame Poe for the murders. Uh, Hamilton, I believe his name was, goes... No, the only thing he's killed is a bottle of brandy. <laughs> yeah, and he says, in the front, he he's like, everything that Poe writes is just up in here. It's nothing. Uh, he's he, not a killer. He was given a great gift, but God has drenched him in misery. From Every losing. woman he ever loved died in his arms. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so now, get to the actual movie. Um, so it is just more of a storytelling point. It uh, seems like everybody screams in this film. Yeah, a lot of screaming going on in this movie. Uh, I, li I like Luke mm -hmm. Evans as Fields. As it I thought all the actors were really good. Yeah. Uh, I just have nothing to say about this movie. Really? Like you... The movie's the movie's there. Like it's the acting was on par, the storytelling and the pace was just fine. Um, I, I thought the guy Reynolds was real twisted at the end. He you know, he really had a real diabolical look. This guy did a great job framing him in the final shot between him and Poe. Uh, like the fact that Poe even like on his dying breath is still insulting him. Like, what was the clearest point? the plagiarist that I invented? <laughs> what the, the point of the Reynolds character what was I his true motive I, of doing what he was doing? I don't know. Like, I, that's the one part that, and that hurts because now you're not explaining to me why is he doing this? Why is he getting hooked on to Poe? Well, they said, like, he said, you stopped writing and it killed me. It's like, he didn't stop. He was just, uh, he didn't know what to write. He, it wasn't like he was a retired writer or anything. He just didn't know what to write next. Yeah, and I think, like, when you look at it that way, the, the plot of this movie, the, like, the point of this movie you know, revealing like, oh, the reason why oh, I'm killing people I is forgot the true star of this movie. I got lost in my notes. The horse? <laughs> no. The <laughs> raccoon is the true star of this movie. 
oh god give me the scene because now I'm drawing way it, like when he's trying to write and he's just sort of completely blocked he doesn't have to write does, he just picks up his pet raccoon and is petting his pet raccoon. oh god because you and your raccoon yes. fetish that, oh is, that is a true star of this movie is that raccoon because you want a pet raccoon yes I do he, he really does send it to me <laughs> send me a pet <laughs> um, but I, I'm none still of the, none of the ones in my area will come up to me I wonder my, why. Except for the one at my work who waved at me through the window. Little bastard. <laughs> Mark it down. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't get the point of why Reynolds went crazy because there was enough stories of from Edgar Allan Poe. Um, to me, I felt like that was an easy cop out. Like they did it. They were building this movie up to be like a good little twist and turn. Yeah. And I get it with like the Re Reynolds character. The other things that he was in, he was barely in. You didn't really even like. I felt like they showed his face too much. Like that guy's psycho. Yeah. He's he's going to be the killer. He's only shown like what two or three times at most. And it's honestly like the side shot. Yeah. Like, him taking like tea off of Edgar Allan Poe and walking away. Um, but it makes no sense for him to go lunatic over a lack of stories. I think that was a cheap cop out. Um. Said the acting was fine, the the pacing was fine, the plot they they try to get cute with the plot, and it just kind of failed. And I think that's why when I tell my grade, that's why I'm no, well, do it's gonna be like a fifty-seven percent. No, it's yeah. not. It no. tried too hard. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not fifty-seven. Seventy-five percent. <laughs> Flip those numbers. <laughs> what is your grade? My grade is a C plus. So like seventy five. You're over there mocking me, and you're getting. Yeah, a D is a failure. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a. It's be, It's above failure. Okay, it's like you're almost there, kid. <laughs> I. You know what? I am giving it a B. Eighty percent. I can't. Like it's just. We're literally in the same range. It's fine. <laughs> it wasn't probably the best. A B is a way to go, buddy. It'd be a B minus. You're trying really hard. <laughs> A C is like, uh, well, you suddenly showed up now, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I said, you, you know, the acting was fine. I think the biggest part was, for me, one, making, you know, Edgar Allan Poe po more than the writer. He's just a writer who likes to drink. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> That's where I get my ideas from. <laughs> uh, I still gotta finish your book. I started it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had it for three years. And I am on like page 15, I promise. You. That's a book. <laughs> 200 page book? It comes and goes. <laughs> um, you know, I, I did enjoy Luke Evans, John uh, Cusack. Um, their performance is better yeah. than next week's episode. But I'll be so 80%, 75 for him. It's there. Yeah. It's not going to jump out at you. Um, I picked this movie. Because um, you're a lunatic. No! Because <laughs> I do enjoy Edgar Allan Poe uh, stories, and so he is one of my favorite writers. So that's why we're doing a theme this uh, next two weeks. Until next time! Bye bye!